Hi there, would you like to know more about CRISPR screens? Great, this is exactly the video you were looking for. Milia combines CRISPR screening with single-cell RNA sequencing. However, there are multiple CRISPR technologies available. So let's have a look at the general CRISPR screening workflow. CRISPR screens help to study gene functions, and we can think about gene products as targets. Using CRISPR, we can precisely edit gene functions, which is referred to as perturbation. Briefly, cell-based CRISPR screens can be performed as unbiased perturbations, where many cells and genes are perturbed in parallel. Positive screens allow to nominate cells that acquire resistance to a drug, cells in red, and on the other hand, negative fitness screens look for essential genes whose perturbation leads to a dropout of cells, those in purple. There are three types of CRISPR applications, knockout, interference, and activation. Let's have a look at CRISPR knockouts in more detail. In this case, genetic perturbation via CRISPR knockouts is achieved by using the programmable Cas9 endonuclease as a molecular scissor. It cuts genomic DNA in the cell at specific target sites using a single guide RNA highlighted in red. In more detail, Cas9 is guided to exons of genes and editing leads to insertions or deletions at the DNA level. This allows to inactivate gene expression, and we can investigate phenotypes of single cells with individual gene knockouts. At Milia, CRISPR screens are performed at large scale in primary human T cells to support drug discovery projects and immuno oncology applications. Have a look at our website, and please reach out via email or LinkedIn in case you'd like to know more about CRISPR screening.